All right, we are going to learn our second strum in this four-week program. And it is, uh, we just call it the 4-4 four, four strum. And you'll find out why in just a little bit. For this strum, we're going to need to do a little, something a little different than the last strum. We're going to use our thumb to go down and our three fingers here to go up. Okay? Um, you can also do... Okay. Yeah, you can also do this with a pick. If you do it with a pick, then everything I'm saying, just apply it with the pick. But if you're doing it with your fingers, we're gonna pluck down with our, our thumb and then up with our three fingers here on our right hand, okay? So first, I'm gonna show you the muted version of this and you can practice along. With our thumb, let's, for practicing purposes, let's just put our thumb on the, on the top sixth string and we're just gonna pluck down, okay? and our first three fingers are gonna go on these bottom three strings. So your first finger is gonna go on string number three, your middle finger is gonna go on string number two, and your ring finger is gonna go on string number one, okay? Right here, like that, okay? So the, the general motion of this strum is just plucking with our thumb and then plucking up with our fingers. So down, up, down, up, down. Let's try that four times. Ready? And down, up, down, up, three, and four, and. Now that's the general idea of this 4-4 four, four strum. The reason we call it a 4-4 four, four strum is because you can count to four. You, you do this strum or you can do this strum for any song that you, that's in a 4-4 in a four, four time signature. So like if you think of like a general rock song, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This strum though, I said rock song, but this strum is more of a, of a Mexican strum. If you, if you hear me do this strum, you'll probably think of, of a Mexican song that you know, right? Any one of like a hundred of them have that strum on it, right? The four, four strum. The next thing we need to learn in this strum is to move our thumb from one string to another string. So for this, we're gonna put our fingers in the D chord position, okay? So place your fingers in D chord, and before you press down, what we're gonna do is we're going to have our thumb pluck the fourth string, right? And then pluck the fifth string. So all I want, all I want you to do is press your fingers down on D chord, and just with your thumb, don't worry about these fingers yet, pluck string four, string five, string four, string five, string four, string five. And go ahead and release your fingers, give them a little break. Now we're gonna put those things together. We're gonna pluck with our thumb, string four, and then with our three fingers, we're gonna pluck up or, or strum up, and then string five, strum up, right? So we're gonna do this on D and then We'll probably try it on the A chord, okay? So place your fingers on D, and we're gonna do this really slow, all right? Press your fingers on D, thumb on string four, strum up, string five, strum up, string four, strum up, string five, strum up, okay? Let's do that for 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna set my timer. Here we go. Ready, and string four, strum up, string five, strum up, string four, up, five, up, four, up, five, All right, now what we're gonna do, just to kind of get the idea of the strum in a different context with a different chord, we're gonna put our fingers on the A chord, okay? So we're gonna place your fingers there, don't press down just yet. And what we're gonna do with our thumb is we're gonna pluck string five now, because we're on a different chord. String five, and then string six. And that'll be the motion of our thumb with the strums in between, okay? So again, 30 seconds, starting now. 
place your fingers on A, press down, with your thumb, string five, strum, string six, strum, string five, up, six, up, five, up, six, up, five, up, six, up, five, up, and six, up. There we go. So as you're playing these chords, hopefully you can start to hear how you might, you can start to hear some songs in your head that you'll be able to play just with those two chords, with the D and the A chord. And next week, we'll actually apply these strums and these chords to two songs that you can play um, beginning, sorry. And next week, we'll apply these, these chords and these strums to songs that you can start playing right away. Thank you very much. Happy practicing and God bless you.